Hey guys, it's Bad with Johnny Tech Review. Um, today I have a really quick video for you to kind of explain to you the process of uh, picking the right uh, graphic card. So I'm not going to pretend to be the expert on a uh, graphic card and all you know computer related product. However, I have been a PC a gamer and a PC building enthusiast for the longest time. During the past decade or so, I'm always building PC for myself, my friend, and my family. So yeah, I uh, always try to look for a good deal uh, when it comes to PC hardware. So with that in mind, uh, with every generation of new graphic card that are coming out in the market every year, uh, you get a new you know marketing lingo you have all these new fancy terms that you have to learn and uh, you know sometimes navigating to that can be a bit of a headache so hopefully this short little video will help you to determine which nvidia graphic card you like uh, whether it's a 1060 1070 1080 or even a titan x so let's not think about budget and money because i think you can find out uh, which one of these cards will fall in your budget but let's just talk straight about what the difference between the models so i want to break it down very simple for you guys 1060 gtx you want to play 1080p game you can get this graphic card it's going to be good 1070 GTX, you have a 1440p monitor like mine, uh, that's what you want to get. If you want even more frame rate and uh, possibly play a better 4K game, get a 1080 GTX. And if you just have a ton of money to blow, get a Titan. So this Titan X really is a card that is a full professional uh, that they can use a lot of you know video RAM to do whatever editing they need to do. But of course, if you have the money, you can always buy it. So that's pretty much the breakdown of the four series. Uh, next, we talk about the different uh, kind of model, I would say. You have the family edition, which is basically NVIDIA version of the reference card. And then uh, different uh, company also make this family edition. Uh, for some reason, NVIDIA pricing scheme is really high in the family edition. So you kind of have to look around to see what you like. So the family edition is pretty simple. You have the simple kind of sleek, uh, slimline design and uh, with that you have a uh, one fan that one fan is a blower style so it's designed to suck in air and push it to the heatsink and bring it to the back outside of the case and this is great for those people who uh, have a small bill and concern about the you know the air quality they have inside maybe it's too hot the, the case is not uh, sufficient enough for uh, airflow so this is a good uh, graphic card for that however uh, this card uh, tend to be a little bit louder so keep that in mind the other variation is basically the custom board you know company like asus gigabyte you know zotac all these different companies are making different uh, card version of this card and they also make a reference version but basically the various different version uh, you know come from either standard clock you have overclock some are designed for greatly overclock Blocking. and uh, most of these have two fan three fans some even have uh, you know water cooling so and some are hybrid solution so basically what you're looking for there is uh, each of the company have their own naming and scheming so you kind of have to check into that to see which version is which I notice a lot of company also have uh, now RGB uh, this is basically if the high-end series usually for the gaming and usually these a clock high you can overclock it a lot better and then these also have RGB lighting that you can control so that kind of give you an idea on that so on top of the model now you have these different variation like I mentioned so a company like uh, for example VGA that is actually the card I'm going with uh, has a bunch of different naming a marketing scheme or you know different level of the card so you have for example the you know FTW the for the win edition which is the top of the line card and of course they also have a signature series which is or a little bit higher than that but anyway uh, there's a bunch of different versions so you kind of have to see which version fit your needs and which version you know it's goes on sale because really the difference between the different version I guess is just the selection of the chips so you can get one that overclock really well or you can get one that doesn't clock overclock well um, so some of them are preset to come out of the box uh, already super clock they call them and those are pretty nice already overclocked for you guys so you don't have to deal with uh, a lot of overclocking if you don't want to do it you can still overclock them but they probably won't overclock as well some of the other one that is better chip in uh, that's a little bit high quality uh, so I mentioned brand earlier there's a lot of different brand when it comes to graphic card but I'm gonna focus it really on the general uh, I guess the general population of what we would think the reputation of the cards are uh, the company are I mean so company like EVGA usually have a pretty decent you know uh, top tier I would say near top tier uh, level card and the uh, customer support is always being really good so that's one of the things that to keep in mind so if you can get an EVGA card that's a good deal MSI is another company the uh, customer service is, is I guess it's so so most people say that it's pretty good some people say it's not so good so it's kind of mixed bag but they used to have a really quiet card and usually the card can overclock pretty well they usually have a pretty cool design on their card Asus also make the strict series these are pretty nice uh, fan place design uh, really nice for overclocking Asus to me I have been using a lot of Asus card for AMD side uh, they works fine and I have no problem with them either Gigabyte one of my favorite uh, actually motherboard company I use a lot of my uh, computer that I built before with this, their motherboard and their graphic card is not too bad either they have that G1 series uh, 1070 that I like however after I did a lot of researching I ended up going with the EVGA version and then there's other company like Zotac and uh, Sapphire I think Sapphire currently do not have any NVIDIA card uh, current release but Zotac has two different versions they have the M and the 
M uh, extreme version something like that so uh, now that you know the difference between the different model and variation uh, let's talk about what you can get them the best way to buy these graphic cards now are really just online I believe sometimes some of the brick and mortar store like Micro Center will have a good deal or Fry's will have a good deal but in general I look at Amazon I look at Newegg you know NCIX I look at eBay even and you know sometimes even uh, Jet.com Jet.com is of course it's the competitor of that to Amazon that just being bought by Walmart but they usually have this 10% coupon that's pretty good so you can get a card that's about $420 down to about $380 and of course uh, they don't charge tax uh, for most part anyway um, but yeah in general it's a pretty good deal so look around uh, also check uh, the forum I'll put a link down in the description below you can see the slick deal forum the uh, reddit thread and a few other places like PC Park Picker they have a nice little list of daily deals that they found price drop uh, happening and stuff like that so you can kind of get an idea where you can get a good graphic card guys that's pretty much conclude my quick little video I know I spent a lot of time uh, you know in the past two week or so trying to find the right card for the right price I know I wanted a 1070 GTX I just didn't know which version and you know what the pros and cons are and uh, at the end of the day I basically break it down to EVGA because uh, the customers of support and right now the price are roughly around the same for most of them uh, except for some of the high tier model so I'll leave all the link and all the information down in the description box again uh, if you have any questions just let me know in the comment below and uh, if you find this video helpful please like it and subscribe and stay tuned for future review thank you